Okay, one of the things you want to do uh, when you're making your tutu dress is you're going to need elastic. And it's up to you, I hope you can see this, you can use different types of elastic. This is three quarter inch non-roll elastic. I like the non-roll elastic, but if you can't find the non-roll, then just get whatever suits your fancy. The three quarter inch seems to be wide enough, and I usually get the larger packs that have like a couple of yards in it. Because obviously I make a lot of these, but if you aren't making a whole bunch of tutu dresses or skirts, then just get a couple of yards and you'll be fine. Okay. Okay, if you're making tutu dresses to sell, um, I make a pretty standard size by starting with a 10 inch, I measure out 10 inches of elastic. Um, then I fold it in half and then I basically, you know, cut it. So you now have approximately almost a 20 inch strip of elastic. Now at this point, you can stitch with a needle and thread or use your sewing machine, your uh, two ends of your elastic together. Right now, for the purposes of this demonstration, and you could do this yourself just as well, I'm just going to run the safety pin through this piece of elastic. Now remember, we're making the tutu dress, so you're gonna need another strip of elastic. I already have one here that I had started on and I'm gonna now show you how to place it on a board, a piece of cardboard, a shoe box, um, any, a pillow, anything so long as it's sturdy for you to tie the knots. Luckily for me, or quite by accident, I have this, I hope you can see it, it's a rubber made container top. And so it just so happens it turns out to be just the right size for what I need. So, I'm gonna take my middle strip of elastic and I'm just gonna stretch it over the container lid and scooch it on down. So, now you have it. And I like to center this in the middle, in the back, so I kinda know where my center part is for my tutu dress. And then, I'm gonna take the upper part of, for the tutu dress and put it on as well. Now you could do this one row at a time, do this first row then the other, that's fine, which basically is actually what I do. So now you're just gonna start tying your pieces of tool onto your elastic. Now just tie them on to begin with and then I'm gonna show you the next step how to pull them through the back part of the elastic, how to, how to do that second row.